everybody? This is Pam Weathers, and you are now listening to House Calls with TNT, where music, culture, and talk radio meet. Jeez, Ray, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. World, 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 world. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to House Calls with TNT, where music, culture, and talk radio meet. I am Tawanda. I am DJ Tony Gray. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. We are here to bring you all things music industry related, whether it's on the scene or behind the scenes. We will be talking to DJs, artists, promoters, entrepreneurs, all music industry related people. And beyond. And beyond. But before we jump into the show, let me give you the 411 on who we are. We are Mr. and Mrs. House, House Therapy. Therapy. You can find DJ Tony Gray on multiple platforms. I am the wifinger. I am the wife, the manager, the promoter. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the talent. She would like to think so. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or you can just Google us. What time is it? It's time for the Smash Up with DJ Tony Gray. Look what I can do.
All right, guys, it's time to get ready to talk about the topic. And the topic today is boundaries in relationships. The Will and Jada story. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Will and Jada story. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, it's anybody's story, it's anybody's but today story. we going to talk about Will and Jada. No, we, we just going to stick to talking about <laughs> <laughs> What? what? is nah. in the news. We are reporting what's already in the news. We're just speaking on the topic and making it personal. Okay. So, Tony, what do you think about this Will and Jada story? First of all... Um, <laughs> I don't like the way it's being handled. What do you mean? Um, first of all, what happens between me and you is our business. I'm not trying to write no book or tell nobody. I wouldn't even go to a shrink and spill the tea like she's been spilling the tea. She did, No, she's not spilling the tea. She done kicked the whole daggone cup over. <laughs> 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 Wait, wait. She, she feel <laughs> she feel go kick the <laughs> the coffee pot, <laughs> the tea pot. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! Stop it! So you so you saying she talking too much? Too much. Too much is an understatement. What? I mean, maybe this is her therapy. Maybe this is her way of dealing with a lot of stuff that she you know been dealing with. She wanted to. Share with the world. Help someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, but you I, know what? I, I the wish timing you, I, is incredible, though. It's like, boom, they find out who kills Tupac. Boom, you got a book coming. Like, in the same week. Boom, you and Will are getting back together, which... We as as the world, we didn't know you was not together. We just um, thought y'all was uh, seven sw- years. Swingers. You know, seven years. We just thought they were swingers. Right? Hey, who knew? So yeah, she's um she's been pretty much forthcoming. Do you believe For, forthcoming? <laughs> but do you believe that, most of the that, stuff that she's that saying? The, is, is that what we're going with? Yeah, that's well, the word, he he. That's where we're gonna go with. Well, Will co-signed it, so. Oh, he did. I didn't miss that part. He supports he supports the book so so if he supports the book that means he co-signs the book or he's that whipped <laughs> I'm just saying I ain't saying the man whipped ain't I ain't not, saying that I mean no disrespect to you babe what but you and no other woman ain't that good for me to put up with what he's putting up with hey hey no I'm not that no. good no. I'm not no, that good. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my no, gosh. No, not now, never. Not, no. What uh, dang? No. So you're saying that you and no, I. It, it's no. What, 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 what I'm I, saying is, okay, you so. Go with what, I, what I heard was. No. That's what you're about to do? No. Okay. So right. let's make it personal. So if that was me. You wouldn't support me, is what you saying? Hell no, <laughs> to the no, no, no. Mm. Oh my gosh, Lord, help me, y'all, help me, please. See how, see what I got to deal with. See what I got to deal with. So, Especially with uh the, the the thing about Tupac, you know, you yeah. still in love with the dead man, so yo, and y'all you know been what's all crazy? These years and you still, mm. you know. Almost like saying, I wish I never married you. Oh my gosh. But li- you know what's so crazy though? Think about that. Him having to live with the fact that he's been second to someone who's no longer here. So it doesn't matter what he does. And now the kid's in on it. What? Not, yeah, the daughter, you know, wish, wish Tupac was still alive. So it's so, um, Mama can be happy. Like what the what the who the Okay, I missed that one too. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Boundaries in relationships. They matter. Oh yeah. I mean, I've divorced Tony like a hundred times in my (laughs) head. (laughs) Y'all didn't know. 
He didn't even know. Boundaries. <laughs> See, boundaries because I didn't know. Y'all got that, right? As long as y'all got that. No, I'm just saying not everything is meant to be shared. Not everything is meant to be said. Some things need to be kept close to your heart. Right. And I mean, I get what she... Pillow talk is pillow talk for a reason. Right. And I get what she was probably doing. And like I said, maybe that was a process for her in her healing process. But well, you sound like you agree with it. Then that's not what you I'm said. Saying. I get it. If you get it, I mean, I get that she felt like she probably needed to get it out, but well, I don't think go, she needed to get it shrink. get it out to the world. Like some of the stuff, okay. I think she could have kept to herself. But everybody knows she's out to sell books, so you got to put some stuff in there, um, you know, to sell books. So I guess I need to take notes because when I get ready to write my book, I need to make no, sure. No, you that don't I'm... need to take notes about <laughs> that. Not about that. Mm-mm. My husband right, is really right, passionate book. about I this will, will and Jada story. I will sue you. Tony, I'm not going to mention your name. <laughs> Duh, my husband ain't going to be Tony. Tony is nothing like Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. That's our topic for the day. Boundaries in relationships. Play stupid games, get stupid prizes. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, all right. Moving right along. It is time for the House Music Social Media Minute. All right. So, first, of course, we've got what's going on tonight, Friday, October the 27th. We've got the monthly event called The Rewind with Becky Nunez in New York City. And, of course, this Friday, since it's Halloween, it's called Rewind with Halloween. Mm. Yes. And it is at Bar 13, 121 University Place. It's in the heart of New York City. So please go and check them out. It will be from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. They play everything. She's got like five or six DJs going from the rooftop to the second floor. Mm. So please check out my girl Becky Nunez in New York City for the Rewind with Halloween. All right. So Saturday, October the 28th, we've got Ray, Vasquez, Miriam, and Carrie's Halloween party. Music, of course, will be by Ray Vasquez and Carrie Grant. And that will be at the office, 1308 Myrtle Avenue in Brooklyn. From 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. So please check them out on Facebook and find out where you can grab your tickets. Again, that is Ray, Miriam, and Carrie's Halloween party in Brooklyn. All right, so moving right along, I've got my DJs on deck. And my DJs on deck are just people that I know that play online or play on a certain platform. And I like to give them shout outs and hopefully you guys will stop by their chat rooms and stop by and give them a listen. So this week's DJs on deck. Of course, I just mentioned um, DJ Ray Vasquez, his party. He is also on Twitch Um, and he has the Coney Island Groove Sessions and his sessions are on Twitch, like I said, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Tuesday. So please check out Ray. Get a little taste of Ray. And then after that, let's see, I've got Love Music on Twitch. And he's under the IAAH Radio. So please check him out on Twitch as well. And then we've got DJ Triple J. He is on Twitch as well. See, I have a theme going. He is under Soulful House Music Collage, and he's on every Tuesday as well. But he's on on 10 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So please check out those Twitch DJs there. And, of course, I want to give a special shout-out to DJ Dan Dan from Soulful House Nations. He's on every Monday at 1 p.m., and he has a special guest um, that he does interviews with. So please check out DJ Dan Dan, Soulful House Nations, on um, Facebook, Twitch, um, he has a whole multiple. He's all over the place. He's all over the place. So please check him out. Um, his shows are on 1 p.m. with um, a special guest. So check him out and find out who he will have on each Monday. All right. So guys, that is my DJs on deck and my house music social media minute. Woo woo! Yo yo, it's the Doughboy, y'all. A.K.A. Coach Carter, 
aka Big Jers, and you are now tuned in to House Calls with TNT, where music, culture, and talk radio meet. You know the vibes. <laughs> Track of the week.
track of the week. It's time. It's time for the house call, the dog. House call. <laughs> All right, Tony, who are we going to see today? We are going to see DJ Jamie, who is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Jamie. Why that name sound familiar? Is that is that Jamie Hodges, that tall dude that be on the mic talking junk when we go to Raleigh? You really want to say that now? And then go to his party, and then he grabs the mic and puts you on blast. Uh, duh, he, that's you know how he's scared get of down. Jamie when he get on the mic. Yeah, I, you know he's clown. And I'm gonna let him know that. You know he gonna clown you. I'm a, ain't nobody scared of Jamie. Okay, okay. Matter of fact, let's go. All right, pa- get, get get in the car. All right. I mean, I ain't scared. You want me to drive? Come on, let's go. All right, let's ride. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, hello, hello. I got some company. Yes, Who you do. It? Jamie, open the door. All right, give me a second. <laughs> Just <laughs> open this door. <laughs> the door is open. Come on in. Boom. Now, see, I'm kicking the door in. <laughs> what's up, Jay? <laughs> yo, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Now that you know me and Tony out here in these streets making our house call. And of course, we had to come up here and visit you in Raleigh because you guys are doing yes, big things yes. up here, growing and glowing up here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, you know, we trying, we trying, we trying. You know how it is. We trying. We're doing the best that we can. Thank y'all for stopping by. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for having us. We um, appreciate you letting me just come bombard your house. So get on out the way. Let me go sit down and prop my feet up. You know, I could take a bottle oh, yeah. of water. Have a right seat. Now. Have a seat. I need a bottle of water. <clears throat> you know. All right. I got I got some fresh water, uh, ice cold water for you. Uh, Tony, you need anything? What can I get you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, Tony don't never you get good? nothing. You good? Okay. Tony won't never get nothing when we go places, man. He be acting funny like he be like that. But anyway, I think he be hating because, <laughs> you know, people be loving on me and don't nobody be trying to come oh. see him. And they be loving my show, and I think he be hating. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't think he's hating. He know, he know he got somebody solid on his team, so he's just very, you know, solid. overprotective. That's all it is. He's not I, hating. I ain't going to say I'm solid. I, a little mushy. <laughs> <laughs> she, took, she, she went left with that one. 
<laughs> oh do, my god. Jamie, she do got broad shoulders though. Right? <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know what? Dang. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna okay, let's get okay. professional. I'm not I'm not gonna touch that at all. That's at all. Y'all. I'm not gonna That's touch right. that. That's right. You know how we do. You well, how... Jamie started. Yeah. Jamie started it. He started. He started it. Okay. Yeah. No, I did not. I'm just following your lead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Jay. Well, I know who you are. You are my brother in house. But please introduce yourself to my audience. So first and foremost, before I go into all that, I just want to commend you guys on all your success with house therapy. Um, you guys are doing a marvelous job with the house therapy and keeping this house, this house movement going. So hats off to you two. Uh, I follow you guys. I listen to your mixes, and I just love your energy. So uh, I want to congratulate you guys first on that. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I am I am Jamie Hodges, aka DJ Jamie, nice and simple, native of Newark, New Jersey, born in Newark, raised basically in East Orange. Um, okay. You know, this this house music thing is what I love. You know, it's not my um, so first love, but it's about my second or third love. You know, I got to put the wife in there first. And, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> let me take that back. The man, the man of God first, then I put the wife and family there next. Then the house music comes in. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> can't, can't, can't leave that part out. <laughs> so how did you get into house music, though? So, you know, back in the 80s, you know, my days of Eastern High School, my older brother, uh, Marlo, he's the one I used to carry his crates and uh, got into music listening. I was never <clears throat> into the hip-hop scene as much as as much as the house scene. So he would play the parties, and I was the one carrying the crates, carrying the speakers. Wow. And then he hit me with the old, then he hit me with the old famous, I got to go to the bathroom, be right back. I said, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the song go off? He said, well, you know, you can handle it. I said, oh, shoot. Oh, wow. So I'm watching the, I'm watching the hallway. He ain't coming. He ain't coming. He not coming. So come to find out, he was setting me up, and he was putting me in training. Wow. So I said, well, the song about to go off. You know, you see a needle getting to the end of the record. So I said, okay, let me find something. And before you know it, he's staying in the hallway seeing what I'm going to do. So he's watching me and watching me. And from that point on, that was the beginning of my training for my older brother, DJ and house music. And ever since yes. then, it's been it's been a story that's still being told. Wow. So he yeah, really he yeah. really like literally threw you into it. Yeah, he basically threw me into it. <clears throat> the old deep, deep I'm going to the bathroom. Deep into the pool. Yeah. Deep into it. Deep into it. Can't swim, but no one's doing so hey. I learned <laughs> I learned quick. <laughs> And I've been a fan of it ever since. Wow. So are you like most people? Like most people say that they, you know, were um, into hip hop and all that first and then was introduced to house, you know, later on. Yeah, because, you know, going East Orange High School, mm -hmm. living in East Orange, down down, down the hill, what we call it, L-Town. You know, my close friends are, you know, annoyed by nature. And I had rap music around me all the time. We went oh, to the Queen okay. Latifah parties, Red Man, you know, all them cats. So we was deep into the hip hop. And so then once I got with my brother, he started doing these house music parties. I'm like, oh, house music, okay. Got a nice little kick, nice little beat to it. Okay. I was love I was loving the transition, you know, the sound, the track, the whole I mean the beat. It was really telling the story. So I never left hip hop, but you know, house just Basically took over. Really? So what? What? What yeah, made you was, do that though? So what was it about house music that made you say, you know what, this is what I want to focus on. This is what I want to do. Because you know, the house music genre is a feeling. You know, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's a feeling right. like a song. Thing. It's a spiritual feeling. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the movement. I mean, you you can play. Uh, Hip hop, you know, it got its own style. You know, <clears throat> some say it's a little more aggressive. When well, you put on some house music, I mean, it just take you to a whole another place. Right. It's like you on cloud nine. It's like you can you can feel it. 
and to get the results from people dancing to it, you know, yeah, it, it takes you to a place where you've never been before. And I've just been a fan of it ever since. Wow. Well, you gotta you gotta share a story or two. I know you have to have something in your your uh, repertoire. <laughs> of you well, know. you know, I I don't have a really big story. You know, I started um, once my brother took me under his wing, uh-huh. and then he kind of got out of it. I just kept going with it. You know, some of my background, um, my man Shane put me in my first house music gig. We DJed down a place called the Punch Bowl, downtown North. It was around the corner from Club America. Uh, left there, and we DJed at Scott's Manor. And then I had a home residency in Orange at Club The Prairie. You know, that was my spot there. Oh, I remember that spot. <clears throat> yeah, man. I did a couple of spots there. Then I had some guest spots at other, other clubs around town. But nothing big, you know. I'm just, you know, just doing what I do. Trying to keep, keep the dance floor moving. So I know a lot of people have gravitated from up top towards, you know, down the south way. And of course, you just, you came down and you winded up in Raleigh. How did you wind up in Raleigh doing house music? So when I, yeah, so when I was in, you know, in Jersey, you know, I was into the house scene real big. So mm-hmm. then I moved to Florida. Okay. Stayed there for a year. <clears throat> then I came to Raleigh. And I was still playing house music. And I said, man, there's no house music in this Raleigh area. This is back in 94, 94, 95. And I said, then my man, y'all know Ice. Ice moved down. Then other buddy of mine, Doug, came down. So we formed a little clique, you know, back in the day, you got your little clique, Jersey right. Bad Boys. So we started, we started doing stuff in the park. And it's a tough market in the country, in the South, they say. It it's really a tough is. market, but... It's, it's, it's a, but I, I tried to stay consistent with it. Right. And um, keep doing and keep doing and keep pushing it. And the more I kept doing it, I would gain two more followers. Right. And then another party, I got three more followers. There you another go. Another party, I got four more <laughs> followers. So then yep. they would tell somebody, and then they would tell somebody, right. and they would tell somebody. And then I always say, well, when's the next one? When's the next one? So I'm going to try and do it at least once a month. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get a good turnout. Sometimes you don't get a good turnout. Right. But, I was told, you know, just try to stay consistent with it and do it once a month, and it, it, it'll work itself out. Oh, yeah, consistent. And that's where we are now. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be consistent. And like you said, coming down this way, there are a lot of people from up north down this way, but I think because they're, I guess, scattered or there's really not any organized house, I guess, in the south, no, no, like you know, everybody has their own entity of it. If all of those people actually came together, it would be phenomenal. But like the Carolinas, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, if you if the groups that are out trying to you know put the house music and the house community on the map did it as a collective, it will be right just as big here like it's at Atlanta, Chicago, or anywhere else. But like you said, it, it's hard because here you you have to teach it first. You have to explain right, it. Right, right. You know what I mean? You have to like, right. you have to, you know, take people on a journey because people have a mindset of what they think house is. They think it's just that mm-hmm, one mm-hmm. beat over and over. Songs don't change. Yeah. The beat don't change. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? So they have a, a yeah. And see, not and see when I do it myself, I try to <clears throat> I try to introduce people to it to what they already know. Right. So down right. in the down in the Raleigh area, they may not know the the underground part of house music. Mm-hmm. They may know just the commercial so, right. or the radio style music. Right. You know, you give them you give them your follow me, you give them your finally. But if you try to introduce them to some of the newer stuff. Uh, the soulful stuff, they're like, okay, okay, that that sounds kind of nice. Mm-hmm. But I realize you have to train them. Right. You can't come out the gate, you can't come out the gate and beat them in the head <laughs> like you're in Chicago right. or like you're in Jersey right. because they, they know that. You have to take, what I've learned over the months is mm-hmm. you have to take baby steps. Baby you have steps. to take baby steps, take baby steps, and you have to train them. And the more you do that, they're like, okay, that sounds kind of good. Okay, so when's your next one? Okay, 
I'm going to come back next month. And then next month, you hit them with something different. And as you right. go on, and that's how you kind of bring the crowd together, then they'll tell somebody, and then they'll right. tell somebody. And before you know it, everybody's, you know, coming together. And I've also met some really nice other DJs and promoters in the area who are from the North who are going to bring their crowd and right. mix with my crowd and right. try to and try to make it a nice a nice little get together, a nice little party. Oh, you're doing awesome. We were able to actually make it, you know, to the last one you had. We had a great time. Yeah, congratulations. I mean, yeah, it was great. Vendors, um, food, the music, the DJs you had, everything was like phenomenal. The space was great. So, I mean, kudos, kudos to you as well for doing that. You know, we have to give it up to you. For, um, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. I appreciate it, that. I we, really appreciate yeah, that. We've, we've been there, like we've all been there. We're we're there sometimes here, where we have to pick and choose how we move as well. Like you said, you know, sometimes right, right. people will come out, and sometimes they won't. You just it just depends. But we're for we're further down in the south, so it's kind of harder for us. <laughs> but you know, Tony's been yes, doing this I'm, forty plus years, so he knows how yeah, to introduce yeah, it I know. to people. I know he's been in the game for a while. So he's been in the game a while, so you know it's it's even you know hard for us. So I get it, but I love what you're doing. I want people to know what you're doing. Um, I think it's awesome that you're doing it once a month because consistency is the key. That it is, is true. absolutely that is true. the key. And it was a lot of people there um, that I had a chance to talk to, and you know, and I made sure I took pictures and stuff and helped promote as well because I wanted people to see the work that you were doing. But a lot of people were surprised at you know i guess the camaraderie about it like it, it was mm-hmm, everybody mm-hmm. knows gonna be that much love up there right <laughs> yeah 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 you know. yeah so people Let's see, I, tr- yeah. I try i try to surround myself with good people you know yeah yeah. People who bring that negative negative stuff around me, I just don't even try not to associate with that because I surround myself with good people who are willing to come out and help do this. Right. And uh, I mean, everybody has their own job and what they do. Nobody can, you know, always do stuff, you know, for free or whatever, whatever. But people come out and help out and do it for the love of house music. Absolutely. You got to love how you have to love what you do. You, you know, you, so. it, it has to be for the love of house because you don't make yeah, no money yeah. at it. You wind up spending more money than making money because, you know, what <clears> I'm saying because of, like you said, where we are and we're not in the bigger areas that um, where all the house heads are. So you have to, you know, it's a give and take thing. So you do you do have mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. hook up with people who have the same vision and know where you yep. are in that space. You know what I'm saying? To yep. still say, so true. if and and we partied together for years. Like we we partied with you and <laughs> had a good time. Like it could be a bunch of people, and it could be just us handful of yeah. people, oh, and yeah. we still we, we, we go, we have go a ball with y'all. Jamie, we, yeah. <laughs> we have a ball, <laughs> man. Have a ball with Jamie. Listen, it, it, it's crazy. Like we're like three and a half hours from y'all. And for us to like yes. get in our car and be like, we're going to Raleigh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been I've been telling my wife for long and said, look, we're going to make this trip down to South Carolina, and I'm going to surprise y'all. And then you two guys mess around and surprise, surprise me first. <laughs> took my took my I uh, took my idea. I said, I look. I said, what? I will oh be. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Listen, when I saw you post that, and it was a Sunday, I was like. No, not a Sunday. I said I gotta work, but you know what? We got up and we we kind of like looked at each other. He was kind of like, "You want to go to Raleigh, don't you?" I was like, "I kind of do," because <laughs> we we hadn't seen you in a while, and people don't understand. Yeah. Like when you surround yourself with good people that love house music and that positive energy, it just it just changes your whole whole perspective mm-hmm. of house music and then for other people like you really have a good time like you with yeah. everybody like people that come up that you don't know you ain't never seen these people before mm-hmm. but they still show you love like yeah. hey yeah yeah and it's it's awesome yeah. so i am so proud of what you're doing please keep doing it please keep letting us know what you got going on um it's just i love it I mean, and I know you, you are making you. your staple. I, I know you're making your staple there. 
so don't don't stop keep pushing you know keep doing what you're doing you know you have our support always house therapy we family yes i appreciate it i we appreciate family. it i thank y'all for coming up thank y'all for coming up and supporting you know i, I was really trying to it. i was trying to you know get on the ones and twos and help you out <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, I told that was you. hilarious <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone, but yeah, I got that you. That was hilarious. <laughs> she, she was like, where's, where's that flash drive at? Where's that flash drive? I'm, I'm gonna show them how it was done. I, I had my flash drive alone, and everything. I was, I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I, like, Jay, I was there for you, man. If you were short, a DJ or anything, but, um, I heard through the grapevine that you fired messy so uh, <laughs> hello right. you know, he knows right. that he knows that the talk jumped at me and i got that microphone in my hand oh, but, you know, it's all i good. learned it's all... my lesson i learned my lesson and so did oh tawanda God. tawanda learned her oh lesson God. too oh we don't God. say Mar- nothing Mar- to Mar- you Mar- said man i know you that was all said that's a come let's go get a beer he said, see, I know you love me. I thought I love you, but you still fired though. You still fired. <laughs> I told Messi, I said, I told Miss, I said, what I heard was he got an opening. That's oh, what that, that was hilarious. You told this this is you said, Messi, this is not personal. This is not personal. This is business. So Jamie, I hear you got an opening. <laughs> I come ready. I come ready. So yeah, Raleigh, yeah, North Carolina, yeah. y'all better come out. Y'all never know when I might yes, be on the ones yes. and Come check us out. Come check come us check out. Us she out. travel with a, she, she got a thumb drive in the pocket, so she's learning. I don't know DJ don't travel without one. So no. She learn. Listen, I, I make sure Tony have one with him all the time. He be like, hey, playing. That's I'm great. like, listen, as a DJ, you should always have some music with you. Always. Yeah, you that's, never know. Me, you never know what opportunity is going to be knocking. Really, really, I learned that from you, right? She learned that from me. You right. <laughs> you right. Bonnie Tom. and Clyde, I, I hear you. I, know, right? <laughs> I just stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jay, you just, boy. I, I came to enjoy myself. He always say that, Jay. I'm well, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad y'all came. I really appreciate the surprise. That was all right. Oh so yeah, me and the wife. I told her. I told her we gonna get make it that way real soon, real soon. I hope so. I think y'all will love it. Come yeah, party, come party with us at the art bar. We will. We are gonna come party with y'all at the art bar. I see the videos. I see the pictures. I said, yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Oh, we it get is. Down there. That place is bananas. I it love, is. I love being there. I never thought I'd be. I always wanted to play there, and now I'm a resident, and I love it. Because we get to do, we up, get man. to do it all. We get to have a good time. The people are fun people. It's a mixed crowd. He gets to play everything, anything. So it's it's just fun. We love it. That's great. It's That's a good great. fit. That's it's great. a good fit That's for awesome. him. It's a good fit for him. But Raleigh, North Carolina, is a good fit for you because you you got it going yes, on. Yes, I'm. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I mean, I'm not going. I'm not going to stop. I'm gonna keep giving it 110 percent to do Please what I do. do. Like I said, you know. Please do. I got some, I got some good people surrounding me now. Um, I got some good connections, and I got a nice venue to make some good things happen. So yes. um, I'm just trying to do I'm trying to do bigger and better things in the near future. And I hope you guys can come up and share this and oh, this journey with me and and keep promoting this thing we call house music. Oh, absolutely! Now, don't you play at another spot in Raleigh too? So I do play at in my buddy's spot. It's called Woods. Um, I play there also on the weekends where it's more, you know, R&B, old school, uh-huh. genre. And every once in a while, you know, I give them a taste of the house they're here and there. I don't beat them in the head with a button. Right. Like I said, I introduce it to them slowly. Right. Mm-hmm. And when I do play it, they, they give me that look like, okay, okay. And then they be bopping their head, tapping their feet. But they never leave the dance floor. I mean, they, they're still rocking with it. But there you, you know, go. I get I get in it, then I come out of it. You know what I'm saying? Then you right. keep doing it. Then they're gonna be like, okay, well, can you play that that that, that other song you played up before? I say, All right, yeah, we'll get we we'll get back to some more of it. So you know, like I said, it's, it's baby steps. It's baby, baby steps. steps. It's growing. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah. So where's yeah. where's yeah. Woods at? What's what's the address? Woods is in Raleigh. It's on three hundred eight Rush Street in Raleigh. Okay. And are you there every weekend? 
Um, not every weekend. Okay. Probably like I try to do like two or three weekends out the month. We got other DJs that we bring in to play also. Oh, dope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are you just uh, tell us how to find you on Facebook? So you can look me up on Facebook at Jamie Hodges on Facebook, and my IG is D E E J A Y Jamie on IG. Okay. That's how you can reach me. Okay, and that's where we can find out all the stuff that you've got going on at Woods Yep, and also and I, do, I do have the um, I do have the other page on Facebook. It's the um, House Music in the South on Facebook also where we post flyers and people post videos and I post mixes and all that kind of good stuff also. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Don't forget, don't forget yeah. to promote the once a month party too. That lo- oh, yeah, that most location. definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, that, most that definitely. Lo- give yeah, them that I, location. I, yeah, but so the once a month party is going to probably switch between the tap room where you guys came up to. Mm-hmm. That's the... um. Seven Saturday Tap Room, 1399 Capitol Boulevard. Okay. I'm going to try to make that a permanent spot for the once a month. You know, we're doing it outside. Now it's getting a little chilly. Right. So um, <clears throat> we are going to bring it inside and do it on a Saturday night. Okay. Ooh. So I'm working on that. I'm working on that next date for next month right now. Okay, cool. Okay. And once again, once again, everything finalized, um, I will let you guys know. And I'm also working on bringing a uh, major artists to come in and perform also. Dope. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's the same spot where we had we had we had Lady Alma there um, a couple months ago and that worked out really great. She oh, enjoyed yeah. the place. She loved the atmosphere. She did a great job. And uh <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it going to bring back another artist next month and I'm working on that right now. So as soon as I get that detailed Got it, line and sign. I will definitely let you guys know. Not a problem. Not a problem because you know we will support and promote and do whatever yes. you yes. need us to do because we want House in the South to be just as big as any other place. So that's right. Yeah, we already yeah. we all yeah. know. You know, it baby steps, like you said, and right. everybody right. has to start right. somewhere. But I think once you oh, yeah. get. You know, once you get the right people in your corner that has the same vision and are willing to put in the work, sometimes for free, like you said, you know, yeah. this is this is our time to to kind of carry the crates. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just have yeah. to put in that work. Yeah. If it, you know, for the love of house, and a lot of people say that, exactly. but it's like, exactly. do you really mean it? Because <laughs> if it's really for the love of house, like you will play to yeah. an empty room. Mm-hmm. Because you rented a space for the love of house, and you yeah, know, and, and exactly. that's the crazy thing. And people in house music, and they all know it, and I'm gonna say it, they finicky. I've learned that yeah, being a yeah. baby house head, like being on the outside looking in on a lot of this stuff, it's like I hear people say stuff, but their actions don't say that. It's like they will they will hype you up. Oh, you need to do this type part. Yeah, we need to do this. Oh, why y'all not doing this? Yeah. And then when you give them the product, they don't show up for it. They don't show up. <laughs> I so, know all about that. Yes. And we, <laughs> listen, listen, we all know, you know what I'm saying? And they finicky. They want to hear what they want to hear. They, you mm-hmm, know, they want to mm-hmm. move how they want to move. But you do yep. have a few of us that will allow the DJ to take us on a journey. Mm-hmm. Let the DJ play. Yeah. Let him do do him. Because whatever you quote unquote want to hear, listen to it in your car. Listen to yeah, it at home. Exactly. But if you're gonna exactly. go somewhere you can't, out, you can't you come can't, late. Come on. Yeah, you can't come late to the party and want to hear your top five. Thank and, and you. Stand around and be recovering. You know what I'm saying? We we start the party at nine. You get here at twelve, and you got. <laughs> 15 requests. Listen. We done been on a, on a, we done been on a trip. <laughs> we done been on a journey and came back <laughs> home. Listen, yeah. I, listen, I, I had that happen to us at the art bar and it was like that. Like we started nine. I think dude came like at 12, 12, 30. I still hadn't heard my song. Oh yeah. I remember that. Mm. I was like, well, boo, he may have played your song because guess what? We started at nine. Yeah. So next yeah. time, just exactly. be here early and stay all night, and maybe he'll play your song. Yeah, I mean, come on, you can't, right? You can't, 
it, sometimes it don't even be that people come to the party. Sometimes it can be, you know, the, the DJ lineup. Yep. You, know, you get, yep. I, sometimes I get grief back from them. Well, I don't want to go first. I don't want to go second. I need to go here. I need to go this time. Or they'll come in when it's their time to play and then they'll leave. They don't want to promote. You know, they don't want to help well, you, Jamie, set up. You know they don't like want to do none of this. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's, not, that's why. Like that that's, at all. Right, right. And that's why I say I'm glad I got myself surrounded with a group of guys and girls who are here to help support from the beginning from the to the beginning end. To, exactly. Yep. Exactly. From the beginning. And that's to the what end. I need on my team to make the team do, 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 do better. And it will. It, it will definitely get yeah. better and grow. Yeah. And, I, and I think I, I think I've got that squad behind me. I've seen it several times where everybody can come together and make this thing more successful than where it is right now. But we're on our way. We you are on, on our you way. You are definitely yes, on you your are. way. It's awesome. So I really, really know Tony probably about to, you know, leave me. He always about to leave me, Jamie. <laughs> he be hating. I'm telling he you, he ain't going too far. Look, look. look. Already out there. He ain't going too far. Blowing the horn. Oh, he's so disrespectful. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's so disrespectful. Well, he's so disrespectful. Anyway, Jay. He's blowing that horn. He'll wake, he'll wake up my neighbors. <laughs> look. <laughs> well, I better go because, look, I ain't trying to get nobody calling the popos on us up in here. We ain't from here. We ain't well, from look, here. I really, I really appreciate y'all stopping by. Oh, no. Um, talking to me. But it's, you know, it was it was an honor. Yes. And once again, kudos to you guys. Hats off to you guys. Um, house therapy. You guys are doing some wonderful things. And I will definitely make my way down that way real soon to I check you guys will. out. I can't wait to see you guys. We miss you guys. But let me get in this car yes, and go. Yes. But before I go, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my man, Jamie. Woo-hoo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Let me get ready to go. Y'all have a safe have a safe trip home. Thank you, brother. Love you. Bye. All right, love y'all too. All right. Peace out. Peace.
All right, guys, the positive quote of today comes from Positive Corners on Facebook. Your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. When you start seeing your worth, you'll find it harder to stay around people who don't. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with House Calls with TNT, where music, culture, and talk radio meet. Holla back, youngin'. Holla back. Holla back, youngin'. Holla back, holla back, holla back, holla back.